Virginia. They, they assigned me to an LST, went down through the Panama Canal, back out to the Pacific. <laughs> Ended up in Pearl Harbor. They took me off the LST and they put me on a, a USS Oakland, a light cruiser. That's the one I went into Japan with, Yokohama. That's how I got to Japan. Back in San Diego training booth, and the Bureau of Personnel says, Oh, regular Navy, which I was, I signed up for the regular Navy, which was six years instead of the reserves. They come out and says, All regular Navy personnel, second class and above officers, petty officers. If they wanted out, they could take a discharge. And after they changed commands on the Oakland, it got really military. You know, everyone yeah. is suspended, blowing a full pipe, uniform of the day is this, uniform of this. <laughs> And I said, oh boy, I don't like this at all. <laughs> so when they wrote that letter that they, certain ranks could get out, regular Navy, second class and above, regular Navy could get with, for your service could, out, could get out, man, I, let me out. I had a boatswain mate, first class, who went out with me, he had 12 years of service. He only had eight more years to go and he could have retired. My folks, when I got discharged, was in Phoenix. So that's where I come when I got discharged in Phoenix. Got going with a girl, was an operator. Got on with a telephone company. <laughs> back off of the switchboard, you know, because I was going to be in there, a broken wire or something. I had to tell them so they'd clear the, uh, the operator off of the switchboard. Yeah, that old chief. <laughs> chief Underhill. <laughs> that was a pretty good job. I liked that too. But you never seen the wires in back back of a switchboard because every telephone number was on there. All the toll circuits were on there and all the wires and then you got to get in there and try to find one broken wire to one little jack. <laughs> back at the office and then we'd see the operators come in and out and like that. That's how I knew who George was. And, <coughs> and I said, well, that's for me, right there. That's how I got that land out at Walker. Uh, she was from Walker, and we went out there to her folks' house, which was living on a little fraction of ground in the forest. They, they, I guess they built the house or whatever. I don't know how they got it, but that's the old homestead. Right? Margaret Young, she's a pretty famous artist, smartest. But anyway, she made that watercolor of it. 
<laughs> but anyway, that's when I decided that, well, that's where I'd like to be, out there at Walker. <coughs> so, the, the guy that owned the mining claims, the one I bought off him, owned all the mining claims around. They got, they were friends with the, the roses out there, and I bought that mining claim off of him.